はい皆さんこんにちは、えー、Thank you Thank you for watching everybody、えーえー、私は私は私はなんて言うとなんかあれかしまって、えー、僕はですね、えー、究極のマルチ楽器奏者ミッチと,よあのと言われております、はい、My name is Mitch Imori and aka Ultimate Multi Instrumentalist えー、それですね、今日はね、えー、先日もう20年ほどずっとさ、もう20年経つ,か経つかな、探していたね、この日刊の応募絵を、えー、最近手に入れましたのであの、お見せしたいと思います。Um, so I have acquired this Nikon brand oboe.、Uh, I'll explain to you what Nikon is later. But no, I've been looking for this for about 20 years and I just acquired a couple,、uh, last week. Last week, yeah. So、I like to show it to you. えー、じゃあまずね、えー、まずその日刊というあのブランドのことを簡単にご説明しますね。So the first, I'll just explain a little bit about what 日刊 is.、えー、日刊というのはですね、日本管楽器株式会社。で、これね、えー、と忘れなかったら後でこれね、リンク貼っておきますね。で、日刊 means、uh, Japan Wind Instrument Manufacturing Incorporated or Corporate Incorporated or whatever. Um, so it, they were specialized in the wind instruments, band instruments. And I think they called that J- Nippon Band Instrument or something like that. And if I don't forget, I'll just see a,、uh, paste a link later、uh, about that. And <clears throat> えー、で以下はですね、あのネットからの引用なんですが、so、the following is the,、uh, the, uh, the quote from the,、uh, the uh, website、えー。日刊はですね、明治25年1892年、えー、当時、えー、陸軍交渉に勤務していた同在区市の江川千太郎が独立し、東京・浅草で管楽器の修理を始めたことが起源です。えー、so, Nikan was established by 江川千太郎 who was a coppersmith、uh, and also worked for, for the、uh, army. And then he、uh, became independent and started the、uh, repairing wind instruments in Asakusa in Tokyo、uh, in 1892, by the way. えー、そしてですね、えー、江川は、えー、1902年、明治35年に江川楽器製作所を設立し、コルネット、トランペット等国産管楽器の製作に乗り出し、えー、大正7年、えー、大正7年、これ西暦いつですかね、大正7年には日本管楽器製作所として新発足しています。えー、so, Egawa, Mr. Egawa、uh, established in 1902, so 10 years after he established the, the workshop,、uh, Egawa、uh, Musical Instruments Manufacturing. And then he started making cornet and trumpets、uh, so forth.、Uh, so, this is probably the first time the band instruments were made in Japan.、Uh, Taisho, seventh year, and I don't, I don't have the.、Uh, um, Western calendar here, so I don't know what the Taisho 7th is. And then he,、um, he relaunched the company as a Japan band instrument manufacturing. えー、それで、えー、戦前にはですね、日本の軍楽隊に楽器を収め、えー輸入品、輸入品が少なく高価だった頃、作らない楽器はなかったと言います。えー、その頃にもプロ仕様の応募を作っておりました。えー、and then before the World War II, Uh, and when the, uh, uh, the imported instruments were very expensive and probably、uh, very rare too,、um, he made instruments for the,、uh, the military bands.、Um, and then supposedly he didn't have any instrument that he did not make within the band instruments. And during that time, there were some uh, uh, pro model oboes w e r e、uh, manufactured as well. えー、そしてですね、日本管楽器は昭和45年5月にヤマハに合併吸収され、その歴史に実情幕を下ろしましたと。まあそういうことですね。And then Japan Band Instruments、uh, was bought up、uh, by Yamaha in May of 1970. And then、uh, as, a, as a company, it stopped.、Uh, that's, the, that's the rough history of a Nikon. And Nikon, 
Nihon Kangaki, and that's a Nikan. So that's, we, we usually call that Nikan. えー、それでですね、まあ、でこの楽器、この楽器についての印象なんですけれども、えー、まずね、そ、so、it's the overall impression about this particular oboe. Oh, and then, so let me talk about a little bit more about this particular oboe.、えー、でもあのこの楽器についてもうちょっとあのお話しますけど、この楽器はね、えー、おそらく昭和30年代後半に作られた楽器だと思います。So I assume that this was made in Late or mid、uh, 1960s, so before they were absorbed by Yamaha. And, and actually, here it says Nikon. Do you see that? Yeah, I don't know if it comes out in the inside out. I'm not sure if flipped, but the, the, here is a Nikon logo. So, it is nice. So, no. その時に作られたオーボエはおそらくその戦前に作られたもの,ものとは関係ないと思いますあの。同じ人が作ったかもしれないけれども、開発意図はおそらく全く違ったものだと思います。I assume that the, that this obo was made entirely different the,、uh, project from the,、uh, the ones that were made in,、uh, during the,、uh, the, before the World War II. えー、それで話によりますと、えー、小鈴木製造先生ですね、あの大声の日本の大声師の、もうこの先生がいなければ日本の大声会は今のような状態にはなってなかったと言われる、鈴木製造先生がその開発に関与されていたというお話です。And, uh, the story told the, uh, uh, Mr. Seizo Suzuki, who was, who, who, Was like,、uh, I don't know if I can、uh, find anybody like an equivalent in the United States, but yeah, if he, if he did not do what he did,、um, the obo players and the obo manufacturing in Japan really did not become the way it is right now. And it's supposedly he was the,、uh, the main adv- chief advisor、uh, of production of this particular obo. This, 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 材料がいい材料が確保できなかったということで政策が頓挫したと伺っております。And then, but the,、um, Nikan had, time, hard, had a hard time securing the enough good wood to manufacture these oboes.、Um, so it did, not, it did not continue. で、実際何本作られたかというのは僕はちょっと記憶はわかりません。I don't know how many of these were actually manufactured. I, I don't know. So, the impression So, the impression about this particular obo. So, first thing, well, just the Nihongo de Kimasho. Mazu Sai Shu in the Kia Tsuita no ne, Kono mechanism ga hijoni kachito ste tikari ste to yoko tokos ne. The first thing、uh, I noticed was the,、uh, the mechanism is very precise and there are not too much wear and tear. Uh, very precisely made. で、これね、僕あの以前にヤマハのクライネットをオーバーホールしたことがありまして、でそれしょっちゅう使ってるんですよ。その時にもね、感じたことなんですよね。Not too long ago, about five years ago, I, I overhauled the, the Yamaha clarinet、uh, from the same era. It was not wood. It was a plastic, well, it was that, like a bake light or hot rubber or whatever, whatever the material was. And I, when, I, when I took that apart, my first impression was the, the mechanism was really tight and、uh, very precise. えー、それでですね、これ、大声だとやっぱり学生用の覚えになるとこう、プロ用ではないとキーが少なくなるわけですよね。で、そのね、このキーの省き方がね、あのいい加減じゃないんですよ。割ときちんとね、こう省くところは省いて省く、省く必要のないところは省いてないっていうね、そういう感じですよね。Uh, so、then、uh, when, you, when you run across any、uh, student model instruments, you know, they, they have little to nothing.、Uh, That important key. So, I mean, you could still learn for a while, but、uh, eventually you will graduate from that instrument. And, but this instrument, I see that actually the way they eliminate it are not necessarily, are actually very unnecessary keys.、Uh, so, as is, you can still play a lot of things. That's the kind of thing one, I'm, one thing I'm very、um, impressed with.、Um, So, for instance, 例えばですね、その一番下の音が B、B、B、ハーではない。B フラット、B なんですよね。So, the one of the examples is that the lowest note is not B natural, it's a B flat. 
So if you see some student model instruments made in the uh, in the United States or or some you know many many of them are made by Yamaha, uh, you'll see that actually the bell has uh, the hole, but not a key. So uh, so over here there is no keys like this, you know. So um, but you can play low B flat with this instrument. えー、それでね<笑>、えー、この主軸になるこの6本の指ですね。ここでね、こう特にこっちね、この2つ、穴がないんですよ。穴がないんです。で、下もね、この下の方もね、これね、申し上げてるようにしか穴開いてないんですよね。そう、で、これね、そもそもね、これフル,フル装備でなかったら、穴開いてる意味ないんです、ほとんど。うん。で、ということなので、その辺もね、その初心者なんかが吹いた時に吹きやすいだろうなと。And then, so these main six fingers, except this one over here, there's, there, there's no hole. And then over here, this one, this one has a very small holes, but it's a very small hole, it's not, it's not difficult to cover. And、uh, those holes won't mean anything until you have a, a full conservatory system, professional type of instrument, anyway. So it's a good thing that the, these keys are solid. And that also means, ということはですね、あの整備性もいいということなんですよ。で、ここのところね、この穴が開いてるとね、結構ね、この穴をこう、あの担保に穴を開けてここに装着して、結構めんどくさいんですね、あれね。だけども、これは普通のさ、穴が開いてないのだったら、ここに、ここに担保を入れることはそんなに難しくないんですね。And then it's、uh, related to the, the solid keys, it's very,、uh, it's easy to maintain. So the,、uh, the, if you have holes here, Uh, you have to punch a hole in the cork pad and then you have to install that. And it actually takes you quite a long time. But the, these are solid keys, so it's a very much easier to,、uh, to deal with. えー、それでですね、上のトリルキーはもうこれだけなんですよね。せとでなんですよね。で、せとでで、どこが開きますかというと、ここなんです。でこれでね、普通のフルコンセルバトワール式見るとこう,こうなんて2つあるんですよね。これね、えー、これが正で,でしょ。これどっちだこれこれでね、正でがこれでね、上の方。あの、正でのトリルがこれで、こ,ここがね、ハーチスのトリルなんですよね。だけどね、こう、この、ここね、穴が2つ開いてると、ここがね、割れるんですよ。木の楽器だとたくさん。でも、そこ割れた楽器ね、たくさんあるんですよ。あの、中古市場には。だから、それがないんです、これ。穴1つしか開いてないんです。えっ、ー、と、ここか。割れようがないんですよ、これ。だから、その辺も非常にいいことだということですよね。Uh, so then、uh, here, this is a C D trill. C, C to D trill. And then there's no C,、uh, B C sharp trill key. And you can deal with that by doing this kind of stuff, you know. So it's not that necessary to have a B C sharp trill key. And then that also means, as I just showed you that when I'm talking in Japanese, here, so here's a full conservatory of both. And there you go. So that's a C D, and that's a B C sharp. Do you see how close these tone holes are? Now, so those, those two tone holes、uh, are just so close that in a lot of cases,、uh, the wood cracks right there in between. And you will see that probably like 90% of the,、uh, the, the used oboes in the market have had, have had crack right there.、Uh, and I've seen that many times. And this one has only one hole, there's, there's no way that it cracks right there. えん、それでですね、さらにね、こうさらに驚いたのは、あの、ここのソケットですよね。これね、これなんと、ちょっと今これ、あの、テフロンテープ入れてますけど、ここ、これ金属なんですよ、まず。で、ここ金属って別にね、そんなに驚くことではないかもしれないですけどね、これのね、受け口の方、こっち、こっちも金属なんですよ。これね、これプロ用の楽器じゃないと普通ないんです、これ。でね、ここは、これはプロ用の楽器ですよ。これね。これほら。ここ金属入ってるでしょで、こっちも金属ですね。それが普通なんですよ。プロ用の楽器でね。でも学生用の楽器でそれがあるというのはね、普通ないんです。ないんです、本当に。ないんです。中級用の楽器でもないです。だからその辺がね、非常に、あの、よく考えられてるなっていうのはね、ここからやっぱり折れちゃうことあるんですよね。あの、乱暴に扱うと。だからそういうことも考えて、で、ここも当然金属入ってます。So, then the here, I, I, I was just showing you,、um, hopefully you understand what I was saying, why it was all in Japanese. And so, for, for the student model instruments, here in the socket, both top joint, the end of it, the, the male part of it, and then the female part of it, and the bottom joint, they're both metal. 
and uh, well, the student models usually don't have metal in there, so probably that's uh, that's their manufacturer's uh, concept that the uh, you know strengthen these places and this and this too right here. Um, by doing that, it uh, it will be more difficult to break from there because it could break from here, particularly when students trying to uh, to do something with it. Well, I'm, you know, hope hopefully they're not just trying to like fencing with the elbow. So anyway. So let me demonstrate this. Hi, so it's a So it feels really good. So just excuse me, my oboe playing. But uh, so the only thing uh, that I have com uh, complaints with. あ、1つだけの不安、不満ね。は、え、あ、1つだけ、まあ、2つか。ここのあのフォークFのレゾナンスがないことと左手のFがないことですね。それだけですね。So the only two complaints, not one. Um so no forked F resonance key right there and then also no no left hand F key. でね、あの、左手F キーに関してはね、僕これからね、ちょっと後付け改造しないでね、あの、ちょっとこう接着剤でくっつけるようなものを作ろうと思ってます。So uh, so for the left hand F key, I'm planning to make a very simple key out of like a wood or something that I can paste, not not solder, because I don't want to make a permanent alter you know alteration to this instrument. あの、これをね、あの、これをこれに こう完全な改造を加えたくないので、これはこのまんまにしておきたいので、あの、そういうことを今考えております。はい。ということで、これ日課の覚え出した。夜にも珍しい日課の覚え何本ぐらいあるんだかわかりませんけどね。はい。一